Dear colleagues, in July, the Commission decided to demand extra guarantees from Hungary and Poland in the fields of judicial independence and anti-corruption. And the tools uh, and the leverage was given to us, finally, by the Recovery Fund's clear regulation. But then several months have paused, and frankly, we should be seeing results by now. Particularly because both sides are very happily reporting that the deal is very close. So my question to all of you is, did we all miss something? Did we miss the major reforms? Did we miss the breakthroughs? Did the Hungarian top prosecutor stop being a party loyalist in the meantime? Or did the Polish government stop the blatant attacks on the judiciary? Well, of course, we do not see these results. All we see is flip-flopping and the Commission's credibility taking yet another hit. And frankly, by this time, I think the autocrats in Poland and Hungary do not even take all of this seriously. Because what do Mr. Orban and Kaczynski see, and all other aspiring autocrats, is that they can build a kleptocracy. They can destroy judicial independence. They can cross red line after red line. And after a few months of intransparent deal-making, money will start flowing eventually. And colleagues, this is not President von der Leyen's credibility problem. This is a problem for all of us. Because the Commission is the guardian of our treaties. And if the guardian is not credible, our treaties are not credible either. The rule of law crisis is an existential threat for our whole union. It's time for us to realize this. And appeasement is not the answer. And this House will not let down until the Commission finally understands this. Thank you very much.